Hello everybody, welcome. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know that a few months ago I bought a Vega 64 for my Mac Pro, but I'm not really using it because I don't want to do the mods to the power supply and whenever I use two or three SATA ports to drive one of the eight pin inputs in the Vega 64, the power supply makes some strange whiny noises. So I'm gonna go the external power supply uh, route Initially, I wanted to get a fully silent one, like the one I used to build my server, but they are very expensive and this one should not turn the fans on at low consumption. And, well, when I'm playing a game, the Mac Pro fans are gonna go loud anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Later on, if I decide that I want a silent one, I will replace it, but for now, this one I think will do. It has a zero fan, like no noise mode, up to 30 or 40 percent of a consumption and that should be enough to cover the vega 64 when it's idle so let's unbox the power supply so what do we have here user guide uh, a power cable bunch of cables, not as luxurious as the silent one that comes in a very nice pouch and the cables are packed separately, but they look like of a good quality. Some cable ties, these are always handy to keep around. Uh, a Hey, I think I'm not gonna need to solder anything. I think this is already what I need to use the power supply externally. Like the, the cables are already shorted. This is amazing. I got really lucky on this. So my plan was going to be to short the spins on my own and then be able to use the power supply externally without a PC, but hey, it's done for me. But in any case, so basically, if you want to start a power supply without a PC to power external components, you need to solder pin 16 and 17, like it's already done here, on the main, um, on the motherboard power connector, yeah? And then when you turn the power supply on, it's just gonna come to life. And the power supply itself. So there is an echo mode button here that should allow it to run fanless. The power button and that's it. So this is gonna sit outside, I'll probably hanging sideways so the fan can blow. And not probably like this on my desk. So when I turn the Mac Pro on, I at the same time will turn the power supply on and that should do. All right, so I have here some old spinning rust and let's hope that it will be enough. So we connect it to the SATA one and let's hope it spins up without uh, operating system and let's hope that my whole apartment won't catch fire. I'm gonna hold it like this. And it spins up beautifully. So let's now go to the Mac Pro. I'm not gonna be speaking much because my girlfriend is there working. But it should be enough to drive the Vega 64. So I found out I actually bought the wrong cables. So I ended up going for the cables that came with the power supply. It's uh, two 8 pins to one 8 pin. And since they came with the power supply, I am assuming it's going to be okay. 
although not that I record this video, it's actually not good. The power supply is also whining, and before the Mac Pro power supply was whining. So I think I will need to get a second 8-pin cable later on and run two cables to the hole on the back of the Mac Pro. Now we're going to put the power supply here and connect the 8-pin cable coming from the GPU in the 8-pin outlet of the power supply. The cable is quite short, so everything is going to be hanging here and that will do. As you can see, it's very simple to connect an external power supply to your Mac Pro if you don't want to do any mods to your internal power supply. And if you're not using all the PCIe slots, you also don't need to find a way to connect uh, or to use the drive base yeah, to install a power supply there. This is good enough and I'm happy with the results. Thanks for watching.